Hi Kindergarten! Yesterday we built a cube and today we're going to build a cylinder. Again, you'll need scissors and tape or glue, but if you don't have these things, that's okay, don't worry, because if you go to your kitchen and look in your pantry, see if you can find a can. I found a can of diced tomatoes. Now, you don't have to find a can of tomatoes. You could find a can of anything, some type of soup or beans. This is a 3D cylinder. So if you're not able to make yours, then just use a can to help you with your cylinder worksheet page. You can see when you finally cut it out, remember cut only on the solid lines and then fold on the dotted lines. I folded and taped mine here. Now my circles are a little bit too big. I might want to cut them down some more to trim them before I actually attach them to the ends. But you can see it says I have two faces. I'm going to use the can to show that. On your cylinder you have two faces, one at the top one at the bottom. The faces are shaped like what 2D shape? A circle. So your cylinder has two faces that are shaped like a circle. Did the cube have more faces or the cylinder? The cube had a lot more faces. Remember the cube has six faces. One, two, three, four, five, six, whereas the cylinder only has two faces, one at the top, one at the bottom. Now the cube had eight vertices, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The cylinder has no vertices. The cube had 12 edges, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The cylinder has no vertices and no edges. Use your cylinder, whether it's the one that you've made, cut out and made, or whether it's a can that you've grabbed from your kitchen to help you do your cylinder worksheets. Next time, we'll build a cone. See you soon.